I'm gonna build a completely working LEGO VR headset. You heard that right, working. It'll work just like an actual one, so I'll be in a LEGO virtual reality. Let's do this. So of course, you're probably wondering how, here's how. So I actually ordered these directly from China. So they took like about a month to show up, but when they did, it's what I expected. So that's good. As you can see right here, they are two lenses. So this is gonna be one of the two things that isn't Lego in the thing to actually make a VR. So as far as I know, Lego doesn't make any lenses except for Lego magnifying glass pieces, which actually work. The only problem with the official one is it's at a different angle than these lenses, which can make it so what you're seeing is foggy. So that's why I went this direction and used two non-official lenses just because I know it'll actually work with these. The funny thing about these lenses though is that if I get a really close up there's like scratches on the lenses and I was wondering what those are from and it occurred to me that since these were in this package together they weren't covered from each other. They were in here together and shipped across the sea from China. So they scratched each other up a little bit uh, but they're still not that scratched. It'll still work fine and of course you need something to magnify so that would be my phone. I actually use my phone for recording audio so this is going to be a little weird but as you can see I look through here. Let's try it. Yeah it actually works pretty well but I look through these and then it goes to my phone. So I basically just build this in Lego and hopefully it works. So real quick, I wanted to show you an actual VR headset. So this is what they look like. As you see, there's two lenses in there you look into and there's a screen on the inside. So yeah, it's basically what I'm making just out of Lego. And look at how much smaller these lenses are that I got. Hopefully they still work. So yeah, let's start building. So first off, I actually need to find the distance between these lenses and my phone. That's the correct distance. So for that, I'm just gonna put two bricks here and my phone actually doesn't slide into that. So if I take my case off, it might. So I got my case off. So it was a little bit of a nightmare because of my mic. I had to <laughs> take it out. But now it fits like almost that is like that is gonna make this nice uh, But as you can see now it's vertical up and now I just see how far I need to make it away before it focuses and I can see it So as you can see this is actually a VR YouTube video really interesting and you can see how the screen moves when my phone moves But if I put my phone in here Then I can measure the distance I need with these lenses to get it correct because right now if I hold this directly up to my eyes It's like so blurry like it, you can't even see anything. That's why you need lenses to view anything in VR. So let's try this. I need to be like about right there. Four plates away is actually really close. I'm gonna try three. And if three is worse, then I'll do four. Yeah, so I'm gonna make the lenses three plates out from the screen and it should be the perfect distance. Now I just need to figure out how to hold these lenses in with Lego. So I actually have an idea for putting these lenses together and that is putting rubber pieces on them. So as you can see, rubber pieces can hold them while regular Lego plastic pieces probably will slip. So I need something that can grip onto them, which I'm guessing these can do fairly well. So I'm trying to figure out like a way for these to like stay in the lenses, but it's proving to be fairly difficult. So as you can see here, that actually works really well. That might be the way actually. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so looks like I just found it. Uh, but as you can see, these are seven apart from these axle parts and it's like the perfect squish distance. Okay, so I put axles in these rubber pieces and I'm wondering if that will actually still work. And it does, that holds it in tight. Okay, that is actually really good. So I actually wanna lock this in on top to make sure it's allowed. Okay, yeah, and it can go all the way around and the lens is still secure. It's not going anywhere. Now let's make something that can make it so I can actually see through this instead of having a bar right there and make that for both of them. Okay, so this is what I came up with for the lenses and I can easily attach them with any of these points basically. So I doubled that and I'm wondering if this far apart is enough or in between my nose or if it's too much. So I set it up right here. Honestly, from this angle, it looks like it's the perfect amount almost. So let's try it. It seems like something is wrong. I don't know if they're too far apart, too close or what. I think they might need to be slightly closer because moving them far apart doesn't help. Well, I'm gonna try to shorten this middle one so it's only three wide instead of four and hopefully that fixes this. Okay, well, I learned a lot, so it's super hard. It's like out of focus no matter where almost. It's really confusing. I don't know. These lenses are just, I don't know. Maybe it's my eyes. 
Just kidding. So I made this distance, which is like perfect for like the middles of screen. The eyes are in focus, but it's a little off so that one part is being repeated. But other than that, it looks pretty good. So I think this will be the right distance. It should work. And so now we need to incorporate this into the build and then put my phone on it and then we can make it look good and hopefully it'll be done. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. As you can see, those two lenses are up there and mounted actually to the plates, which is nice. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, if I just slide my phone into here, it fits perfectly down into there. And those lenses are centered perfectly on where the screens would be on my phone. So pretty good there. So I need to secure the phone and uh, make sure it works. And then we can make it actually look good and look like a VR headset. So yeah, back to building. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have some walls built up actually, and uh, my phone slides right in here. Okay, so I, my phone fits in it, right? And the cool thing is I built this right here. Actually, I have to put this piece over it. As you can see, the mic port goes right out there. I thought since I was making the mic hole, I should make one for charging too. So as you can see, the charging cable goes right in there, which is also nice. So as you can see, there's just a little cutout inside for that. So pretty cool. So I actually used a brick with a stud on the side and then put one of these round tiles on it. I could use a regular tile, but I couldn't find any. So I just use a round one and just put one of those on each side. So right there and right down there actually because the ports on the side uh, So both of those make it so that my phone doesn't move at all in there. It's like really good I don't know how I lined it up so well, but yeah, so now it's time to test it Okay, so I got a minecraft roller coaster video up so you can kind of see the minecart there. And if I just plop that in down in here, as you can see, oh, whoa, my phone's gonna slide out the top of that. Let's try it, boys. Oh crap, it took a screenshot. Okay, now moment of truth. <sighs> Boom. Okay, there's a little speck of something on my phone. It looks really gross. So, I mean, it works, but like I was saying earlier, the middle has some problems because it duplicates it. But other than the middle, it works fairly well. Yeah, I can see like the majority of stuff actually. Like right now it's pretty good, except it's blurry. I don't know if it's blurry because of my fingerprints or uh, something else. Got to clean the lenses after. I got to clean the lenses and um, I'm gonna get this thing built up. But yeah, so far it actually is like surprisingly good. <laughs> so yeah, let's build this up and make it even more boring. It's a white brick. It's gonna be even more of a white brick when you see it next. So back to building. Well guys, it's a mess on the table, but as you can see, I finished it. I, I added these two these studs on top because there was room and I'm like, oh, that'd be cool. So it's like a one by two brick almost kind of. I would make them one taller, but I don't have the pieces for it. I only have like eight of these bad boys, circle pieces. So it's a little bit shorter than a brick would usually be, I think. But yeah, it still looks cool. And then you can see the those right there, the lenses and stuff. And I added some like, I, I added stuff to hide the Technic. Yeah, if I take all these panels off, it's so much Technic. But then I had these and I can just, those cover up these beams up top. And then I also made these little panels that kind of cover up these sides. And you can see all that stuff in there. So you'll be able to see the screen through the nose hole, but I couldn't really change that. Also the roof is removable so I can easily put my phone in there. So as you can see, the whole top part comes off and then you got this. My phone slides into here. I wish it slid cleanly into there, but I think it is slightly bigger than one brick. So it doesn't fit that easily. And right there is actually a hole for my camera bump on my phone. Right there is a slight bump. So I made a little hole for it, which makes it impossible to pull back out basically. I'm gonna do a couple finishing touches with some of these plates right here. And then we can test this bad boy out and see how good the finished headset is. This is the Briculus. Huh? And yeah, I definitely uh, didn't copy the name from the Oculus at all. So as you can see, I finished everything and the tops of these bricks are actually tiles. And uh, as you can see, there is actually a VR thing on my phone in there right now. I also cut out the nose a little bit so my nose could actually fit because it was hitting against the plate that was there. But as you can see, my phone is ready in there with the VR screens. And you can see a little bit of Minecraft. Guys, I actually realized that since these are hollow studs, it's like a brick modified like this. So as you can see, there's hollow studs. and then. On 
on the sides. This brick looks exactly like it because there's a little cutout. All I need is uh, the top to be filled in on this brick and it would be the Briculus, just the, the minifigure scale version. So it's pretty cool. Didn't even need it for that, but it kind of looks like it. So that's pretty cool. But as you can see, the screen is on and ready to go. And uh, you can see a little minecart in there. Minecraft minecart. I freshly cleaned the lenses too. So hopefully it'll be even clearer than last time I tested it. Okay, time to try it on. Ooh, it's actually still really blurry. I'm not sure if that's because of my phone's screen quality or it's just the lenses, not sure. I can tell what's happening actually, it's not too bad. I can actually see down the railway, but it looks almost like there's two railways because it's just, I couldn't center these the right way. So it just looks like there's two of them. Oh, the stuff really far away is bad. Oh, my phone just froze. What the? the stuff like that's far away is like such worse quality than everything else. But honestly, it is not that bad. Like right now, there's not two railways there's only one it's just really really blurry whoa you know i'm honestly surprised it turned out this good it is pretty good if i do say so myself and it's completely made of lego except for the lenses and the screen of course this is pretty cool well, it does what it's supposed to, and it kind of works. It's just too blurry. While as the Quest is, of course, going to be better, it's like not that blurry in this. It's actually really good quality in here. But I made this for free out of Lego, and uh, if you don't want to pay $300 for a regular Quest, uh, you can just make your own out of Lego, and I mean, it works probably good enough. It's just, it's annoying to hold it up with your hands, but I mean, that's not really that big of a problem. Come on. And it's one way two brick. Pretty cool. So I successfully made a working Lego VR headset, so I mean, that's good. It actually worked better than I was expecting. I was expecting it to just like not work whatsoever but it's actually like decent but let me know down in the comments if you guys want a part two to this video and i can upgrade this to make it even better plus add like a head strap like an actual one so it can like just stay on my head so yeah let me know if you guys want that and if you want to check out other videos like this i'll have a playlist linked up here in the corner and down in the description but as always make sure to like subscribe and hit the notifications bell So it's time to try the finished Berculus. Whoa, <gasps> Weston, earbuds in. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Chop, chop. I heard it. I can tell what's happening, actually. It's not too bad. Oh my, plug. What are you doing, Weston? Every moment I spend with you is a moment I treasure. I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall.